Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today, and uh, today I got the sad news about one of the uh, the nicest wrestlers that I've ever met. Uh, that was uh, Hernandez uh, getting released uh, from TNA, or just basically his contract running out and then not re-signing it. And, you know, within the last week we've heard names like Christopher Daniels, we've heard Kazarian. Uh, if you go back and you, and you think about the last TNA show that I went to, it was Bound for Glory. Like, almost if you look at that card, just about half of the roster is gone, slash, uh, or, you know, the news is out there that they're going to be gone soon, you know, just the guy who wins the World Heavyweight Championship, AJ Styles, now basically works for Ring of Honor at New Japan Wrestling, um, you know, the guy that is the champion of TNA now, uh, was on the pre-show match, uh, <laughs> in a tag team, uh, uh, with him and Joseph Park, uh, pretty much the joke of the uh, company, you know, they did get the uh, the win over uh, Bad Influence in the um, in the pre-show before being eliminated, um, but they did um, also get to get on the show because of uh, the return of Abyss when Abyss came down and beat the crap out of everybody. But um, I don't know. I mean, the I feel like it, it sucks for these guys. You know, they've been around forever. Um, you know, uh, Christopher Daniels, old man Daniels, is, is a whole lot older than I thought he once was. But um, I, he can still go inside the ring. I mean, there, there's no doubt in my mind that I, I don't know why. I think they did the match one time on TV, uh, Bad Influence against the American Wolves. But why that wasn't a, a pay-per-view feud, uh, they keep shoving the, you know, the Wolves versus um, the bromance down our throat like crazy. But, uh, you, know, you know, for every, you know, one bad thing that happens, there has to be, you know, the page turner where something good happens. And uh, everybody knows about Jeff Jarrett and Global Force Wrestling. And uh, I'm just wondering, you know, how his company's going to suit up. He has to have some names in there that people are going to know. And I know people are going to say, like, you don't want Global Force Wrestling to basically be, you know, just nothing but old TNA guys. That basically, you know, if he goes out there and he gets Daniels, he gets Kazarian, uh, a guy like Hernandez. Hey, Chris Saban is out there on the free agent market right now. Um, he he won the X Division title at that show that I went to, too. Hell, maybe every champion uh, at the end of the night at Bound for Glory is probably gone now. But, um, you know, those are damn good names for Jarrett to start his company with. And I know that he wants to go out there and he wants to get, you know, new talent that nobody's ever seen. And, and sort of expose them to this so it's really like the hot new flashy things but you know that the, from watching the AJ Styles shoot you know people get in your ear and they, they sort of shape the way your company's going you don't really get to follow the direction that you uh, once had because um, you know they're going to want um, you know people that they know uh, on the television and they're not going to be interested you know AJ Styles said you know TNA always had him in mind to be the champion and be that guy, but when they were going out and trying to get TV deals, uh, Jeff Jarrett, you know, he had been on Nitro, he had been on Raw, those are the, the, the names that people had seen before, and those are the names that people wanted, so that's why, you know, um, you know, Jarrett was the champion so much in those days, it wasn't so much like that Jarrett was, uh, it was his company and he was the only guy that he could trust and he didn't want somebody running off of his title or something like that, but, uh, you know, it is, you know, shocking that these big names have left, uh, you know, TNA, you know, what are they going to be sooner than later, and there's all the stories that, that, that have come out over the past week with, um, you know, the um, production people weren't getting paid, so they threatened to walk out mid-tapings, uh, uh, I think they did the last set of tapings in Orlando, if I'm not, not 100% sure, and just, um, you know, nobody knows, you know, who's coming and who's going and what's going on. Your pay-per-view is built up, you know, around uh, MVP versus Eric Young. Uh, the last pay-per-view that just ran, that was uh, Magnus against Eric Young, uh, didn't really have, you know, that much of a gangbuster feel to it. Not many people were talking about the show. Um, not that many people were even tweeting about the show. So it just basically breaks down to not many people were watching uh, the show. So, uh, you know, TNA... I. Uh, just, it's hard. It's tough. You know, I want there to be a number two. I want there to be a number three company out there. I don't want this to get swallowed up because, you know, I still want, you know, a guy like Bubba Ray Dudley to still have a place to wrestle where I can see him on TV. Um, you know, MVP is a guy that I'm a fan of. I just really can't get behind him in TNA for some reason, and I'm trying. Um, I would like to see a guy like John Morrison get a break and be on TV somewhere. So, uh, you know, we'll keep pumping our fists. We'll keep seeing what's going down. But, um, you know, all these names that are leaving uh, TNA is, is shocking. 
Um, like I said, Hernandez by far was was an awesome wrestler. He wasn't my favorite wrestler, but he is you know the nicest wrestler that's ever I've ever come into contact with. And he, and he gave me one hell of a weekend. It sounds like he did me or something like that. But um, you know, just for uh, to, to hang out with a wrestler is just you know blows your mind. You, you're probably never gonna get that chance to ever do something like that again. So, um, you know, you know, stock, shocking to see him go. Daniels and Gazarian were an awesome tag team, whether they were heels and we were supposed to hate them or not. But, uh, you know, they always had good matches. They were always knew just how to catch your attention and make you boo them and make, them, make you hate them. Um, it's just a shame that we didn't get to see them go up against the American Wolves. And, you know, TNA does have talent. You know, how can you, you know, if guys like Eddie Edwards, guys like Davey Richards, um, those are big names. It sucks that the WWE didn't want to keep them around. If you, you want to say they're small guys or vanilla midgets or whatever you want to say about them, but uh, they have a bright future in wrestling, wherever it ends up being. But um, you know, Global Force. Hopefully, they can find something. I know that it seems like everybody knows about Global Force, but we don't really know anything about it. Uh, we don't even know if Jeff Jarrett's going to be a wrestler for the company or if he's just going to be, uh, you know, the the. the the backer, or the, you know, the, the booker, or whatever the hell you want to call them, but um, you know, they, they do have some good names to start up a business with. So we'll have to see what goes from there. We have to cross our fingers. I know that TNA's deal ends uh, in the fall, around October. We haven't heard anything about a deal. There's rumors about WWE re-signing with USA. Um, you know, I, I guess that's just for Raw. But I guess they did. Say, they didn't say USA. They said NBC Universal. So that would be maybe SmackDown's gonna stay with Sci-Fi, and it's better to have both of your shows in there because everybody can remember back in the day uh, when you had uh, USA and they had um, they were on some other network for a while where they couldn't show Smackdown on Raw and they couldn't show Raw on Smackdown like the guys could go to the shows but they, they, they weren't allowed to like promote the show and say exactly when and where it was on because you know they would get heat between the cable companies and that was just that's just retarded just to be able to say you know catch uh, you know Friday night SmackDown, Sci-Fi, you know, eight o'clock or whatever the hell it comes on, and uh, just go from there. But uh, this is Stevie Breach. Peace out. And much love, to Hernandez. You're my bro.